Happy dinner time, everybody. The Black Hills State men's and women's basketball teams are both off to great starts this season. The Yellow Jacket men are a perfect 11 and 0, while the ladies have racked up a strong 9 and 2 mark. Here's a closer look at Mark Norrie's squad. The Black Hills State women's basketball team has racked up an impressive 9-2 record this season, and head coach Mark Norrie is pleased with the way his squad is playing. They're motivated to be good, and, and uh, you know, just the effort, attitude, all those things that you, you know, can't, you can control, but a, as a coach, I'm lucky to, to, to have those things. Um, they're, they're doing a great job all, of all of that, and uh, we continue to grow, and we're continuing to get better, so that's, that's what we're striving for. I'd say our depth and um, just the ability for everyone to be able to score. We, when we sub in, we know that that next five is just coming in with just as much intensity and that they're not going to – there's no difference between the first and second five, so that's always really, really good. While the Yellow Jackets have put up some impressive point totals this season, the team's success starts on the defensive end. We have some really good shooters, um, but I think our just our catalyst is just how we defend, how we how hard we play. We we uh, you know have kids that uh, young ladies that, that really kind of sacrifice. They love to defend. They love to do get down and, and uh, challenge themselves in a stance. And I think that's kind of been our you know just our strength. Black Hills State has a strong group of veteran players on this year's team, and the seniors are focused on wrapping up their college career with a conference title. Oh, we have a lot of girls back from last year, so we all are used to playing with each other and work really well together. And just um, Megan, Morgan, and Mickey, we all were in there together last year, so we kind of play well off each other. And Summer and I have been here all four years together, so we know each other's tendencies, and that really um, works well together. Danica Kosher, she's as tough as they come, I and mean, she's um, always willing to to make the big play or, or put put the team on her shoulders a little bit. And um, just her leadership, Megan Ingesser, you know her her ability to shoot the ball and. And, uh, you know, she's, she's fearless how she plays. She gets a lot of offensive rebounds. Friday for road games. Let's take a look at this week's high school girls basketball rankings. Sioux Falls O'Gorman and Jefferson are the top teams in double A. Washington and Pierre check in a third and fourth. The Stevens girls who take on their rivals from Central on Thursday are fifth in the state. The St. Thomas Moore girls are the number one team in class A. Wagner and Hamlin hold down your second and third spots. Fresh off strong performances at the Lakota Nation Invitational. Red Cloud and Lakota Tech are both receiving votes. The uh, Viborg Hurley and Wolsey Washington girls lead the way in Class B. Castlewood and Centerville check in third and fourth. Wall is getting some votes. And of course, College Hoops Jack, as we mentioned, Black Hills State and South Dakota Mines with games coming up Friday and Saturday on the road. The South Dakota State and USD men's and women's basketball teams, they return to the court coming up on Thursday and tonight. We'll check in with the Lady Jackrabbits. Of course, a couple of local players, St. Thomas Moore Products, Haley Timmer and Drew Gilton playing well for SDSU. And they'll look to keep things rolling now after the holiday break as they return to the court coming up on Thursday. It sounds like we have a good week of high school basketball as well. That's right. As we just mentioned there, Stevens and Central girls are going to be playing on Thursday night. That game will tip off at 7 o'clock. And then coming up on Friday night, it's the Stevens and Central boys matching up. So big couple of games coming up in the world of high school hoops this week. And what is next for the Rep City Rush? The Rush also at home this week. The Rush back at home and they have a game tomorrow night. Going to be an interesting game for the Rush as they look to get back into the group with things at home. They've got games coming up tomorrow night as well as uh, Friday and Saturday as well. So a busy week on the local sports scene after a little bit of lull for the holiday break. We got high school basketball and the rush coming up over the next few days. And the big uh, Dakota battle for the FCS football championship getting close now. That's right. Uh, just over about a week and a half away. A week from Saturday or a week from Sunday I should say. I caught myself. South Dakota State and North Dakota State a week from Sunday. That'll be playing for the national title. You can see that game right here on Coda Territory. Jackrabbits and Bison for all the marbles one week from Sunday, January 8th. All right. Thank you very much, Vic. And we'll be right back. With